This is the other way centre in Adelaide, the capital of South Australia. In almost every major town or city in Australia, you can find Aboriginal art and craft shops similar to this. People from cities as well as visitors from overseas love to come and look at the items and also buy them. And there's an incredible range of things, such as boomerangs, paintings, items made of pottery, and carved animals. And very often, the style of a carving or the pattern on that item will give a clue as to the location of the tribe which created that product. Have you ever wondered where an item such as this carved wooden snake came from? This snake started its life as a log of wood, very much like this one, with Jimmy John of the Walbury tribe here near Alice Springs. Jimmy John and the other Aboriginal people in this group use both primitive implements and modern tools to carve animals from the dead branches of trees. This twisted piece of wood will eventually become a snake similar to mine, but with a character all of its own. In addition to snakes, the Walbury people enjoy carving other animals, such as lizards, birds and fish. Very often several members of the family are involved in making one piece of craft work. In this case, May is filing the snake the next stage. After finishing the shape with a file, May decorates it with Aboriginal patterns. Using hot wires which have been placed in the red coals of a campfire. Many of the markings are traditional patterns which have been passed down among the Walbury people for generations. I want to know